Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be uh, doing uh, Lumber Tycoon Part 3. Sorry it took me so long to put this out, uh, but yeah. So basically what we're going to be doing in this video is making it so like other people can actually see what you're moving instead of it just like not doing anything on their screen. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple replicated, yeah, uh, er, remote events. We're going to add two, to be exact. First one is going to be called, uh, why did it not look, anchor. And the second one is going to be called move. Okay. So we are going to add a script into here. And this script is basically going to be what like takes what we just like said, like what, what we put into the uh, remote func bleh, remote events. So yeah, uh, basically we're just going to take it from like anchor, we're going to anchor things, move, we're gonna move like the blocks and then we're gonna take it from the local script, which we're going to um, edit later, so that it will, like, do things with that. <laughs> okay. So, first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to say game.replicatedStorage.anchor.onServerEvent. Huh? Connect function and we're going to pass in the player and the holding in the position sorry I'm a little bit rusty with uh, Roblox coding because well I haven't done it in a bit so we're just gonna say holdy dot position is equal to position and that's literally it and then we just gotta do the move Oh my gosh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm so funny. I'm so funny. Uh, this is not position. This is bool, and this is supposed to be anchor. I was just getting mixed up there, anchored. Yeah, and uh, that should probably be capitalized. <laughs> we can basically just have that here because I messed up. Sorry. <laughs> So that should actually be it. It's just taking the input from anchor. It's um, getting the thing that we're going to anchor and if it's anchored and we're anchoring it and then it's getting the thing we want to move um, and the position and it's moving into that position. Okay, so for uh, the local script, we're just going to be activating um, the anchor and move things so all we really have to do is go before we started here and then we just gotta um fire the um like here basically we just gotta uh anchor it here so we just gotta say game dot replicated storage dot anchor uh and then fire server and then we gotta give it the item, which is the holdy, and uh, true. Then we're just gonna do the same thing for this. We're but we're gonna say false. And uh, for the move, we are going to go. Um, we're just going to go to the end of here because well, it's the end. <laughs> where we did like all the moving stuff so we're just gonna go to the end here and uh actually wait i we need to set a variable i just thought about this okay so local position and then we'd have to set position equal to this so position is equal to that and position is equal to that okay and then we can fire it here so game dot replicated storage dot move uh, fire server, huh. and then we're going to give it the holdy and the position, 
And that is literally it. Let's see if everything went to plan. Oh, I'm gonna check if I was recording that. Yes, I was, okay. So, if I move this, it should, oh. <laughs> uh, position, yes. Yes. Should need to capitalize that, I'm guessing. Yes, there we go, okay. It's working, and you can like test it with a friend, I mean, I can't really show you right now because OBS only shows one screen. I could share my whole screen, but, uh, well, I already, I already started the recording, so. <laughs> well, that is it. I will hopefully be posting next week. Uh, just school and tests got in the way. But, yes, I will be, in, in part two, fixing the bug where this thing will just, like, go into here. And... I also should be posting on the Build-A-Boat series, so, yeah. Okay, thank you, bye.